All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. And this is a baffling one. This is an interesting and confusing one. So scrolling my timeline, scrolling through Twitter, right? And see this post from the, Re the official Redfall account, right? And I scroll past it at first. And then I, I did a double take. I was like, wait, wait, what? Scroll back, scroll back up. And then I read it. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm misunderstanding. Clearly overnight, I don't know, something happened to my brain where, I don't know, I developed dyslexia or some shit because I'm clearly reading this incorrectly. And then I drop it in my Discord. And I'm like, y'all see this shit? Then I, then I quote tweeted, I'm like, am I reading this correctly? I wanna make sure I ain't bugging, right? I gotta, and then I, I, I click on the, the account to make sure it's the official account because you know they can get you nowadays right because i'm absolutely giving them the benefit of the doubt matter of fact i'm even after i put up this video i'm still gonna even i'm still gonna wait for hey this was a mistake this was a this was a, a typo our intern fucked up they don't know what the hell they talking about i'm still kind of waiting on that because ain't no way so I, I i did all my checks to make sure this is real and it's real it's from the official account and everything like that and it says that Redfall is launching on Xbox consoles with quality mode only. Meaning, Xbox Series X will, have, will uh, play at 4K 30 FPS, and Xbox Series S will be 1440p 30 FPS. The 60 frames per second performance mode will be added later via an update. No, no date given. I'm like, and, and it's like, I read this in like Phil Spencer's voice and I'm like, excuse me, good to, pardon me? Could you speak into my good ear? I don't think I'm hearing you correctly. What nigga? What? What, what, what are y'all doing? This is baffling. This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing, bro. It's because it's like, it's always something. It's like always something with Xbox. Like, like. Don't I always say it's like Murphy's Law with Xbox? I think it's called Murphy's Law, right? What can go wrong will go wrong when it's in regards to Xbox or when it's attached to Xbox. It's always like something looks like it's perfect. Nothing can go wrong, right? I always say Xbox turns a layup into a three-point logo shot every fucking time. I don't know how they manage to do it. Always. And Arcane is an amazing studio. Don't get me wrong, Ar Arcane is great. Love Dishonored, hated Deathloop. I think Deathloop is garbage, but Love Dishonored, loved some of their other games. And the like I say it all the time, the first time I saw Redfall, I really, you know, I was really interested in listening to some of their developer diaries and them talk about it more. I'm, I'm like, I'm completely on board. I'm still buying it. And by the way, this doesn't affect me uh, because I'm, I'm buying it on PC, but it's the optics about this. The optics are bad, and this is now an Xbox first party game. By the way, Deathloop had four modes. Four. Deathloop had four modes, including performance modes. Redfall is launching without performance modes. How does that work? A game launching in 2023 without a performance mode is bewildering a first party Xbox game, a game from Arcane, a game that, a, and deservedly, show, deservedly uh, so, the PS5 version was canceled when they were acquired by Xbox. No problem with that, by the way. I said in my video when, uh, that I made about it, it should have been canceled. And one of the things the developer said, I can't remember his name, but uh, he's, he's, it's a developer from Arcane, he literally stated that they told them when, it, when the acquisition happened, they told them to cancel the PS5 version and they were okay with that because, and we've heard this from many other developers and this is absolutely true, developing on one less platform allows you to optimize the game better and, allow, and it's one less com complexity, to, complexity to deal with. We've heard that from a lot of developers, right? It, it, it increases your chances to completely optimize the game, uh, release the game in, in a better shape 
because you got to worry about less factors, le less complexities. That's like it's I think uh, the Final Fantasy 16 developers have said the same thing and countless other developers have said the same thing. So that's fact. So why is Redfall not saying the game is going to be buggy or glitchy, but why is Redfall launching without a performance mode then? You're really developing, okay, you got PC, but you're really developing what should be your absolute focus is the Xbox version. It's a first party game. This should be your absolute priority. It should be the, and you have an Xbox Series X. See if, and, and, and this might be because they're not allowed to do this. I don't know. I don't know if that's in some type of clause or how, 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 just how they work. I see no reason why the Xbox Series X version doesn't have a performance mode. If the, if the S doesn't have a performance mode, people would probably understand that. But why, the, why doesn't the X? That's, that doesn't make any sense. And then it brings up the conversation of, is the Xbox Series S an albatross? Is it holding back the development of games? Because a lot of people have been holding strong in denial of this, but I think we've seen clear evidence that it is, that the Xbox Series S is a problem. And it's been a problem early in this generation. It'll only be a pro more of a problem going forward. It seems to be especially be a problem, and this may be a factor uh, with this, is it seems to be a problem with co-op games. That seems to have something to do with this. The fact that Redfall is co-op. And also, Redfall is a next-gen game, meaning it's only on platforms. You know, some people have different interpretations of what next-gen means, but it's only on Xbox next-gen platforms. So it can't be, it's not being held back by last-generation hardware at all, whatsoever. That's not a factor. So what, the, Arcane is a great developer. So it's like, bro, is this, is this a hardware limitation because of Series S? Is this, it, it definitely seems to be a time, a time issue because what you're telling us is you can get it done, but it's going to be there later. So that seems to indicate a time issue and they are holding Redfall to that, that whole 12 month period that they had, that they talked about last year which seems to be you know biting them in the ass now because when we when they told us that okay Starfield didn't make it into that when they made that promise but Redfall is but that seems to be working against them now some people are saying delay the game i'm not saying you i'm not saying you should or shouldn't but this is a bad look it's, it's bewildering. It, it's confusing. It doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, and, and this is why, and this is why, and I talked about it on Twitter, all you dudes who be getting flued out like some thoughts ready to give up the box to these developers and ready to parade and, and champion and do backflips for them and, and bust it open on a, on a handstand and all this shit, they didn't even, t you when, when they flew you out, they knew this shit was going to launch like this. They knew the shit. And they didn't bother to tell you. Because they know you're some bozos. They know you were just going to backflip on the timeline and, 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 and just be none the wiser. And I'm sure when all of you were there, none of you bothered to ask the question. I mean, okay, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible that y'all played. They, they might have had them playing on PCs, actually. It's possible. They might, when they flew them out, they might have had them playing on PCs. Or they, there, there may be a vertical slice of the game that was actually running at 60 FPS that, they, that they had y'all play. I'm going to give y'all the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they finessed y'all, but, but y'all still got finessed. It's some cyberpunk level finesse. It's, it's the yellow chair all over again. They, they showed y'all the, gr the great stuff and left y'all completely ignorant to this shit. But I'm going to give y'all the benefit of the doubt that, you know, y'all are, I'm going I'm to I'm call y'all victims. But when are y'all going to stop being victims? When, when are y'all going to, every time y'all get flewed out by these developers, listen, I've been flown out before. But uh, I didn't allow me being flew out to completely, like, blind me. Okay? 
I kind of took I, I kind of finessed them if we being real, but that's another story. Xbox, Microsoft, Phil Spencer, Matt Booty, whoever. How are y'all allowing this? How are y'all allowing this? Yeah, I I think the understanding is that but they give Bethesda free reign. They let Bethesda do what they want. You can't allow this. You can't. No. The, and this is why it's so fucking mind boggling that when you talk to Xbox fans, they think the solution for everything is to buy more studios. And when you say this, when you say this out loud, they just call you a hater. Oh, you're a fanboy. You're scared. No, dickhead. Look at the landscape around you. Look at all the signs that point to not, not only Xbox, but most publishers wouldn't be able to handle this many studios and manage this many studios proficiently. But when you tell them that, oh, no, you're scared. No, look around, bro. If you continue to like ignore red flags left and right. But y'all think the solution is to, oh, they, oh, they should buy, uh, oh, they bought Bethesda. They bought uh, Activision. You know what? You, b before the fucking deal is done, these motherfuckers, oh, yeah, they should buy Capcom and then go after Take-Two. And, and then, you know, just to spite, they should, they should get Ubisoft. Are you, see, this is, this is how I know y'all, you, you dickheads are only worried about a fucking list war. That's all y'all are worried about is some list war. And to pad Game Pass with some games that you're not even going to play is literally just for bragging rights just to say it's in there. If you actually cared about the games themselves, you would want the best situation for the games. Y'all don't actually think about the impact and the effect consolidation and all these acquisitions have on all these games. And by the way, I'm down for the, for the uh, Activision acquisition. I have no problem with that. I, I, I was glad they bought, um, like the Activision thing doesn't, doesn't make any difference to me. Doesn't like those Activision games, it doesn't affect me, right? Bethesda, I was happy they bought Bethesda because all the recent Bethesda games at that time were flopping, flopping like, like as much as I love them, Dishonored two flop, Wolfenstein two flop. Well, I they sold less than the original games. I should say that. I, I I'm not gonna go as as far as calling them a flop. Prey that definitely flopped though. So these Bethesda games weren't even selling the best, right? So I I was like, m m Xbox buys them, cool. They get the fi the finance and the backing and the resources. I'm down for that because I want Evil Within. I want Evil Within three badly. I don't think that was gonna happen if Xbox didn't buy them. So I was down for all of that. But then y'all start jumping out the fucking window. Oh yeah, buy more publishers. What does that fucking solve? Nothing. It only makes everything worse. But y'all are so in y'all fanboy heads that they bought two publishers and now y'all think the answer for everything is to buy more publishers because you have no independent fucking thought in your head and you think, oh, Whatever Xbox is doing, keep, let, keep letting them do that. That's the solution. No, meathead. Actually have some critical thought and, and, and think for yourself. And, like, bro, there's, there's a management issue. Something, it, it's something. And, and, and Arcane is like, Arcane, Arcane and Bethesda and all of them just became, just became an Xbox studio, right? So it's, it's, it's hard to make this. It's not completely fair to make this like an Xbox thing, if you get what I'm saying, right? You, you, you know, you just joined the family, and you know it's not fair to blame. Uh, it's not fair to fair to blame the the family for something you did when you just joined them, right? Th their influence necessarily, or the, the effect of that, can't necessarily be be you know uh, uh, can't happen that quick. I would I would say, but. Once again, the optics don't don't look right. And this seems like very much an Xbox thing. And even if this is the even if this is the decision they were going to make anyway, let's say if they weren't acquired by uh, Xbox, the problem is Xbox 
executive, I don't care who, Matt Booty, Phil Spencer, somebody, even though y'all give Bethesda freedom, should step in and say fucking no. No, you cannot release this game in, with only 30 FPS. That's the issue here. You cannot allow them to do this. You have to sit, step in and say no. Put your fucking foot down, bro. Nah, we can't let this fly, bro. We can't. Because once again, the problem with Xbox releases is it always, it's always on the back of like one or two games. The, the, the lifeline and the, the, the Xbox brand is always the, on the, the entire weight of it is always on one game. One or two games. It's, it's always the next game up that has to carry the cross of Xbox. That's the problem. The load is never shared across multiple games. So every time the, 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 the burden to prove that Xbox can do this is on one game and the next game up, you're always proving yourself. And when, when that one game isn't able to do it and isn't able to live up to that hype, then the, the damn cycle continues. Oh, well, the next game will do it. No, the next game will save us. No, the next game will be our savior. It's always the next game that is going to be your Lord and Jesus Christ that is going to forgive you for your sins and take you to paradise. It's always the next game taking y'all to paradise. And y'all ain't never been to paradise. That's the problem. It's, and, and you know, there, then, you, you know, the whole debate about 30 FPS, 60 FPS is like, is, is it playable? I'm not going to say I would never play a game in, in 30 FPS. I'm not going to say that if I had no other choice. I'm not going to say that. If it's a game I really want to play, yeah, I'm going to play it in 30 FPS. But in 2023, bro, for AAA, AA, Indies, most of these games have modes, have a, have a performance mode. Like all different types of games from all different types of studios, whether it's triple A, double A, indies, studios with less resources, more like across the board, probably aside from like Nintendo games, because Nintendo is Nintendo, probably aside from them, have performance modes. And Redfall's. If you want to bring graphics into this, Redfall's graphics is like, bro, it, is, it looks good for that, that, that art style, but it's not winning no awards for that. It's not, you know, amazing anybody that, that sees it with its visuals. It's not leaving anybody in awe. So it's, I don't, I don't get it, man. But it's... It just it just doesn't make any sense, man. Deathloop having four modes, you canceling the PS5 version, which once again is, is okay. Uh, you having on paper the strongest co next gen console on paper. See, and and his and when it comes to like third party, you could you can make the case and put the blame. Oh, the third party developers aren't optimizing correctly, and that's why. That's why these uh, these games are running better on PS5 than than Xbox. In those cases, I completely understand that. It's not the case here. This is you own these motherfuckers. These are these are your guys. These are your people. This is this is you. And you don't have a performance mode for a game that you own on your own console. Hey man, I don't know what to tell you, big bro. I don't know what to tell you. Phil Spencer, Matt Booty, something I, I don't know. Like I said, they gon' they they I Phil that that silver tongue double. Phil Spen I love 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 the guy. Love him to death. But that man is a silver tongued devil. Oh, and and we can't I can't uh forget to shout out oh uh old boy, the the biggest, the biggest finesser and snake oil salesman at, at Xbox. Freaking uh, what's what's this man's name? Oh yeah, Aaron Greenberg. <laughs> How many times are y'all gonna let that man lie to you? Yes, I get it. He's the marketing guy at Xbox. He's always gonna like 
exaggerate and sensationalize and market and promote. But bruh, eventually when you're a marketing guy, the people who actually carry out the mission need to carry out the mission. Or you just look like a complete doofus all the damn time. And that man it looks like a complete doofus every single year. This is the year. This is the year. This is the game. This is the game. Oh, we're going to blow your socks off. Oh, we're coming back now. Like, no. How, like, wh when are y'all going to stop being finessed? You know what? Let me mind my business. Let me mind my business. You know, if, peop if people want to complete be com continue to be finessed and neglected and, you know, suffer from Stockholm Syndrome, you can't save people if they don't want to save themselves. So let me mind my business and fade sh slowly into the shadows. I'm still buying. I'm still buying Redfall, by the way, on PC, which I was where I was always going to buy it. I already have it pre-ordered. So yeah, um, that's that's it. Let me know what y'all think. This doesn't mean the game isn't going to be good. That's not what it means. A, a game could be a very good game and still run at 30 FPS. But it's it's still the point of like how, why. Those are the bigger points. It's how and why. Cause this rolls up to the top. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, hit the notification bell, and uh, I will f catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.